Don't forget that this tutorial is part of a series of tutorials which you can access on our YouTube playlist or alternatively, if you would like to, you can purchase the whole course on Udemy. There should be a link to the YouTube playlist and a link to our Udemy course, which should always provide the best price in the video description. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to actually remove fields from a form to make them non-editable. There might be many reasons why you would do that, but one reason might be that you want to automatically populate that field with some specific value. In this tutorial, we'll look at how to automatically populate specific fields from both the admin and also from the model perspective. So there's potentially two approaches that we could take. Let's start by taking a look at the admin site. So, so far we have been registering our categories, uh, oh, sorry, our models through the admin.site register feature. But what we can also do is provide additional features to these certain models by creating them as classes. So we can create a class here. Uh, let's call this uh, category uh, admin. So this will allow us to extend the features of the admin site for, in this case, the category model. So we go model admin. And then inside of here, we'll start to add some new features. So what we want to do here is use the pre-populated fields equals. So what we want to do with the slug in the category table is we want to populate and create the slug automatically based upon the name of the category. So what we're going to do here is define the, the field slug. And then we want to go ahead and set it to, in this case, the name. We need a comma. And that will then automatically populate the slug based upon the title. Okay, so we're going to need to uh, register the category slightly differently now. So admin site register. We're going to need to sign, define the, the model and then the new features. So that's the category admin. So let's just double check our models that we haven't removed the slug we did in the previous tutorial. So I'm just going to revert that back so we can see the slug field. Right. So what's important here is that the pre populated fields attribute takes a, a dictionary where the keys are the target fields and the values are tuples of that source field. So Django admin interface automatically handles the slugification process for us. What that means is that if we were to type in multiple names, so hello, my name is whatever, it's going to take that and slugify it, which means that it's going to prepare it as a URL friendly string. So in this case, we can't use spaces. So it's going to use a dash between the words. Right, so let's see this in action. Now we already have the Django admin site running. Don't forget if you've forgotten how to start that, manage.py run server. So let's go back into the admin site and have a look at this in action. So now let's go ahead and create a new category. So hello. See what's happening here. My name is it's taking the string and then it's slugifying it. So it's making it into a URL friendly string. You can see the dashes that have been added. So that's one way of pre populating this field. And of course, when I press save now, that will be saved. And I can go ahead and edit it further if I like. I can go ahead and do that. But sometimes maybe you don't want to include this field or you don't want to let the user know that field maybe exists or you just want to automate this process. So we can do that also within the model. Now, this is a little bit advanced at this point, potentially, but what we're going to do is navigate to category and then below maybe the class meta. Let's go ahead and define the save method, which is going to be a way of us overriding the default save method in the Django model. It's going to allow us to customize the behavior that occurs when an instance of the model is saved. So let's go ahead and first of all define that. So def save. And then we're going to need to pass in self. 
and then the augs and quarks. So the next step is for us to create a condition which checks if the slug field of the model is not already set. So this check will ch check to see if the slug has been manually provided before saving. So if this self slug is not set, i.e. it's none or empty, this means that we're going to proceed to generate a slug based upon the title. Now, of course, if it is already applied, then it will simply just be saved. Okay, so let's do that. So if uh, not self dot slug, so if it doesn't exist, if what string doesn't exist, or we haven't applied a slug, then we're going to set it. So self dot slug, get that right, self slug equals. And then we're going to need to slugify. That's a resource that we're going to need to import in self dot title. So that answers the question, which I didn't explain what self is for. Self will just allow us to access the resources uh, within the class. Without that, we wouldn't be able to access, for example, the title. So we're going to need to import slugify. So quick fix. No, we can't quick fix that. You will find the slugify resource in the utility. So Django from Django dot utils uh, dot text import slug slugify. Right, so to finish up, we will need to save. So if a slug doesn't exist, we're going to create one and then we need to save. So super dot save. And then let's pass in the args and keyword arguments. There we go. So this super dot save args, this line calls the save method of the super class, that being the default save method of the Django model. So that is a way of us then retaining the existing behavior and then including our own custom our own custom code here when we save a new instance to our model. So to test this out, we are going to need to make a few changes. If we want to test this out, the if not, so we are going to need to make the slug null equals true. Because if you remember, it is mandatory. So we aren't going to be able to test this out unless we make the slug null. So we're going to need to do that first. And then in addition to that, we will need to just uh, highlight that out. Uh, we're probably going to need to highlight the whole thing out. Okay, we'll just comment that out, sorry. Um, so that isn't going to be used in the admin. And then we will be able to see this in action. Okay, so those are the changes that I've made. So I've just reverted back to register category. And then in the model, I've set the is active to, I'm oh, sorry, the slug to null equals true. And then of course, I'm going to need blank also, blank equals true because we're using the admin form. And then I've created this new override save function. Okay, so with that in place, we can now test out this function in the model. It should be automatically created here in the model. Okay, right. So let's go back into, oh, hello. Let's go back into, The terminal. Let's go ahead and run the server and let's just try this out. So back in the model, I haven't refreshed. So let's go ahead and just go back to categories. Let's add a new category. So test. We're not going to add the slug. Remember, press press save. Now the problem we have here is that models line twenty four save. Okay. So I've you may have already seen that as and when we added that into the model, I have made a mistake there. Apologies. Uh, let's go back into models. Um, a title. It's not title, is it? It's a uh, we're referring to the name. <clears throat> okay. So just make that little change. You can see how um, that was fairly directed, the information that was being provided, which made it easier for me to debug that. So I've done that. Now, also, in addition, which I had forgotten, 
was to update the models. So I'm going to need to do a migration for this. So make migrations. I then migrate to make those changes. And then I'll go ahead and run the server again. Okay, I think we've completely reset. And now we're ready to test it out again. So let's take a look. So I'll go back and go back to categories, add a new inventory, test, no slug is active, press save. You can see everything is fine. Now, this time, what should have happened, of course, if I go into test, you can see the slug has been automatically added. Hopefully that was some valuable insight and you were able to follow along. In this tutorial, we have learned how to use the admin section to customize the category area. In this case, we use pre-populated fields to populate a field based upon a, another field string in this case. And we also then learned how to use the save function within our model to perform some additional functionality when we save a new record or instance into the database.